uh, that's one of the uh, the biggest shifts in terms of I would say the students really are doing the heavy lifting and sometimes I feel I feel like and go what am I doing here you know it doesn't always happen it's not it's not always true and you're always doing other things walking around but I'm just I guess I've been so used to having to put the pieces together for them and making sure that um, that happens that it, it's a different feeling it's a different so that's a, a big shift for me I would say sometimes I'll say in class well you said and, and I'll push back and say, did I say that? And, and they'll think and they'll, and, and they'll say, well, wait, a, we figured that out. And I was like, yeah, I may have repeated it, but you figured it out. I didn't give you that information. And then they're like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. And I think that gives them a bit of confidence to say, I figured this out uh, with my group or on my own. And um, and therefore, I have something to offer. Um, I'm hoping, my hope is that that kind of thinking um, makes them realize in the future, I I can do science. If I can figure this out, I can do science, and it might just spark an interest in them to say, this is something that I'm capable of. And if that means two, three more stu of my students go into the science field. I mean, I think that's that's great, and if more, even better. So it was more student guided, not like teacher guided. Can you say more about that? What do you mean by like, that? like for example, like like the one I had last year in this classroom. Um, it was more about physics, and the teachers more like guiding us towards what we should be like doing and what like what we're doing. But but when, when we did it um this year, it was more like the kids, were, um the students, they were like saying, oh, I think maybe we should research this, and then we researched that. More than the teacher saying what we should research. I feel like the questions really opened a door to what we needed to study about and what's really important to know and to discuss and to look for, for mm, mm, further into. And so the sticky notes, multiple questions, some of the questions were like the same. So that was like, oh yeah, so, um, you know, Cameron said, um, I wonder why her, you know, small intestine is so like swollen and Camilla said that also so we should look into why the small intestine is being so swollen and what's making it happen. So it was very like eye-opening. So the consensus models were like models that we created from based on our on our ideas of like what we think is happening and in the past it was just like a model that it was either just words or like a model that you were expected to already know or a model that you never even seen before but like in this we were the ones coming up with it so we were able to like understand okay so this is what everyone's kind of thinking we have similar ideas or different ideas so we were able to come up with this one model that we could all understand because we came up with it